Whether it's television coverage of sports, public affairs, or just entertainment, television is an important part of most people's lives. Hi, I'm Barry Nolan. And I'm Sarah Edwards. Welcome to our special mini edition of Evening Magazine. And with cable becoming much stronger in the broadcasting field, television will be a much more flexible tool, and the public can create their own programming as well. But where will people get the skills that help them to produce quality TV programs? At Bedford High School, there's a program where the kids are learning how to create the television of tomorrow. Time, 7.44 a.m. Place, Studio A, Telemedia Broadcasting. The air is charged with excitement as showtime approaches. Have you seen David yet this morning? Is he going to show up? Here he is. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, a little late. Okay, you got any questions all set this morning? Yep, everything's all set. Okay, ready? Punch us over audio. Ready to bring it in? And one, two, three, bring it in. Please stay tuned for BHS today, where I'll have an important college announcement. And I'll have an important message about the upcoming Red Sox season. It's not network television, but it is the most exciting entry into the early morning schedule at Bedford High School. BHS Today is put on by students of Telemedia Broadcasting, a volunteer organization that feeds programming to 1,100 students of the Bedford Public School System. I really like um, television. I can. It keeps me more interested, and I can find out what's going on in the school. I watch television a lot. I really enjoy it. I like telemedia a lot. It keeps me up on things, and so I think it's the only school around that has it. You know, we have our own studio and all. I really enjoy it. From the Telemedia Broadcast Center, this is Ask the Principal. Your chance to ask Bedford High School Principal Thomas Duggan questions concerning school issues. When students of Bedford High School have questions regarding school policy, they literally turn to Principal Thomas Duggan on Channel 13. The uh, first question is, re relates to having classes outside. Well, Chamber, for, for years the policy has been that classes are not to be taking out, taken outside during the, the school day, even given the, uh, the weather conditions. However, I think it brings me closer to the student body. Uh, I think it's been a, a good experience, although sometimes you, you can become a little nervous about in terms of what the questions might be. I suppose he has some questions he finds hard to answer, but I guess everybody does. But it's, it's kind of funny to see him mess up. <laughs> On TV, especially our principal. Often we do, we would get a better response here because often in his office he would just say no. You got everything, Neil? Yeah, I'm all set. Behind every successful show is a producer, in this case, Elizabeth McCulloch. Her job is to get the show on the air, and that includes finding a replacement for David Green, who is leaving not for the networks but for college. And so auditions are held. I just want you to get up there and read the announcements list. The worst part about this, I think, has got to be the light. Well, don't worry about it. The only people that will really see this tape are Dave, me, Carol, and maybe Jim Shea, and possibly Neela. Good morning, VHS. This is Kelly Whitley reading the afternoon announcements for Thursday, September 18th, 1980, day five. The auditions are taped, and later, future stars of BHS Today are critiqued by David, Elizabeth, and Carol Richardson, associate producer of BHS Today. Good morning, VHS. This is Kelly Whitley reading the afternoon announcement. I want to know if she's going to be like that in the morning. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> only people do you know are like that. All you see is out None. there looking. The camera shots we're going to use this morning. Um, camera three. Camera three is going to be two shots? Yeah, I thought it was camera two. Testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. Stand by one minute. Everybody, place them. Get your shots ready, please. You know, I'd much rather be up here in the morning just sitting in a homeroom doing homework I don't want to do or something like that. You know, I, it's a good program. I enjoy working with it. I enjoy working with the people that are here. Ready to bring it in? And one, two, three, bring it in. Q. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave Green. And I'm Neil Hingarani. And these are the morning announcements for March 27th, 1981, day four. What are you going to have for us this morning, Neil? To one. Get ready to wipe to two. Get ready, crossfade. Get ready with the key. And crossfade. Bring it in. Wipe. Those staff members wearing corsages are being honored today for 20 years of service in the Bedford school system. Please give them a special smile. They need it. Today is the deadline for the May 2nd SAT or Achievement Tests. 
Please pick up applications in the counseling office. Not changing. I put time into the show because it's really, besides just being fun, it's, I learn a lot. I can apply that to things I want to do in the future. If you are interested in running for the Legislative Committee or Student Court, you should submit a nomination paper by April 3rd to the Social Studies Office. All these students at Bedford High School are getting a taste of what television is made of. And with professional experience at the high school level, they are bound to become the stars and the producers of tomorrow's TV. All right, and that's all we have this morning. So from Dave Green, Nila Hingarani, and Carol Richardson, and the rest of the telemedia staff, have a nice day, everyone. On punch, stop tape. That's it, folks. <laughs> Well, there's good news for telemedia broadcasting. They may be acquiring a low-power television license so they can extend their programming to various homes in the area. And we hope you join us for our regularly scheduled program, weeknights right here on Channel 4 at 7.30. Good night.